top 10 speed nail techniques that every nail professional has to know right now on Nail School. One of the most important keys to speed is being prepared. If you're not prepared, you're gonna be taking time out that you could be working on your client. So I'm gonna show you, for instance, what I do to be prepared ahead of time so I'm ready to go when the client gets there. First thing I do when I get a box of files. If I have any downtime in the salon, I'm gonna pull out the box of files and I'm gonna pre-season everything. It seems like a small thing, but if I don't have to do that in front of the client, I'm gonna save a few seconds. Everything adds up. So now this would go back in to the box. It's ready to use. I know I won't cut my client, which would cost me time if I cut my client. It's nice and seasoned, ready to go. Another thing is when you're working with forms. It is very common to be working on a customer and most fingers have an oval nail bed. So you'll be going, everything's going really great, really great, everything's going on really easy. And then all of a sudden you come to a square nail bed and it's all, and you're like, okay, let me see if I can manage to get this underneath. Well, what you need to be doing is cutting, cutting the form to make it a square nail. So what I like to do is before a client's there, if I have any downtime, I'll take about a row of 20 of these and, and I will pre-cut them, make them a square form for square nail beds, and then put them back on the wax paper and then put them in my drawer. It's ready to go. When I come across a client that has a square nail bed, I can quickly grab it, put it on, and we're ready to rock. The next piece of advice for speed that I have is don't overthink things. If you have your technique down, everything will be on automatic pilot. That's when you'll go as fast as possible. When you're not really thinking about what you're doing, you're just doing, you will go fast. We tend to overthink the process. We get inside of our own head, and once we do that, we're gonna cost ourselves time. That kind of goes along with my next piece of advice, which is don't repeat steps. This is where we can really overthink it. You'll be going along, you'll be pushing back the cuticles, for example, you come in and you take your electric file and you do your prep. Now I've seen, and I've personally done this myself, is then I overthink it, I'm like, oh, maybe that went a little too fast. So I'll pick up my cuticle pusher again, I'll start pushing again, or maybe I pick up my hand file and I start prepping again, and that's costing me time. Once a step is done, it's done, I want you to walk away from it. Another way we can waste time is the clients actually do it for us. So they come in and they want to explain everything that's happened to their nails. They're like, here's a little lifting here. This one's a little cracked on the side. And we want to listen to our clients. We want to hear what they have to say, but we need to be working as they're talking. So it's, it's a big step. A lot of us can't work and talk at the same time, but we have to learn how to do that. So as we're pushing back the cuticle, let your client explain what's going on with their nails, but you're always in motion. Another place we can start wasting time is we tend to overwork the product. Let me show you what I mean. We'll pick up the product, we'll put it to the nail, and we start kind of messing with it right away. We're pushing it out, we're kind of bunny hopping, we're pulling it straight, pulling it straight and we wanna play with it, right? We were working it, working it, working it, working it. Now we need more product and we keep on going, moving it out, brushing it out and our client's like, wow, they're really working hard. But what we're really doing is not letting the product work for us. So let me show you what I want you to do. I want you to grab your pearl 
We're gonna set it down, and of course, we wanna push it to the cuticle area first thing. That way, everything's nice and secure there. I'm gonna hold her finger down. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I wiped my brush off, and now I can work with the product pretty much in a clay form, building the nail out really, really super easy without overplaying with it. If you give product a second to set up, that five seconds, it kind of, again, puts it in this little kind of clay formation where you can use that body of the brush and you can force it and move it where you want it to go, spending less time playing and moving the product around. Another way we can waste a lot of time is we try to make everything perfect. Now I did this myself. I used to spend a lot of time on prep. I used to spend about 15 to 30 minutes on prep work and then everything had to be perfect as I was applying it down. For me, that's not the fastest possible way. Once I taught myself to just let the process go, get the product on, as long as there's the right amount of product on the nail, walk away from it. We tend to try to even it out, make it smooth. And what we end up with is this like beautiful two by four that we have to file anyway. If there's enough product on the nail, let the e-file or your hand file take care of it. Just walk away from it. I know that it can be really expensive getting into nails. So once you're able to, I really recommend getting the right tools, such as if you have one light, get yourself a second light. It is a huge time saver, not having your client have to wait till one hand's cured and then putting the other hand in or putting it in the middle of the table and it's in your way. Same thing with an electric file. I know that an electric file is a very expensive investment piece, but it is very worth it. It is worth saving your wrists and also it's a huge time saver. If you're saving time, you're making more money. When we're talking about your investment pieces like your lights and your electric file, that also goes into things like our bits. If you're working with dull bits, I wanna show you guys how much harder you have to work. This safety bit course is dull. So I gotta put a lot more pressure down and I'm having to work much, much harder at removing. You can see I'm barely removing anything. This is gonna cost me a lot of time and a lot of energy. Plus, as I'm having to put more and more pressure down, it's causing pain in my arms and this is what's going to cause your client's nail to heat up. Let me show you the difference between this bit and a brand new bit. So we're going to grab this new bit. Switch it out. Turn it back on. See all that that's coming off now? So much easier. It's gonna make your life easy, it's gonna save your wrists, it's gonna keep your client from heating up, and it's gonna save you time, which in turn is gonna make you more money. For me, changing out bits, it depends how much I'm doing, but when I was in salon, I did a lot of acrylic. I changed out my X-cut and my safety bit once a week. Now, you can downgrade it. I can now use the dull bit for gel because gel files much easier, so I'm able to keep it a little bit longer but I never kept a bit longer than one month. Again, you have to invest in your bits, but you're gonna save time, energy, which is gonna make you money. In the same way that you wanna change all your bits, it applies to all your equipment and all your tools. Our lights, for instance. I personally changed out my lights once a year. I know that companies say, the light will last 50,000 million years, but the minute that you're starting to have to cure things longer, if I'm starting to have to double my time to get product to cure, it's time just to invest in some new lights. I rather invest and save time, which is gonna make me more money, than sit there and spend double time. That means my client's gonna be there twice as long and that's not gonna be good for my income. So my next point is doing what's fastest for you. Just because one technique works for me doesn't mean it's gonna be faster for you. For instance, I like to just get the product on. Now, some might call it sloppy, but I don't get it on the skin. I'm just getting it on the nail. For me, that's faster than being precise and perfect when I'm applying the product. 
It may be the reverse for you. It may be faster for you to be more precise than to electrophile. So you gotta practice and decide what's going to work for you. Again, when you're on automatic pilot, when you're really not thinking about what you're doing, you're just doing, then you're gonna go as fast as possible. And with that all being said, the most important number one piece of advice I can give you is practice, practice, practice. I did not start out by doing a full set in an hour. My first full set was five hours. As I practiced and I got the technique down, my speed started to follow. So again, practice, 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 and then start timing yourself. Once you have the technique down, start timing yourself and seeing how fast you can go.